Hello. Oh, I see the doggy. Baby, come, come here. Come, come. Bring the dog. That's the baby. Not you. <laughs> I mean, you Hello. come. You come. Say hi. High five. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Again, oh, again, loud, loud, loud. loud. Yeah. And then welcome back to another vlog. Oh, <laughs> look at that doggy. <gasps> hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> hi. Oh. Hi. I know, right? But you, but you're more cute. What? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'll Thank see you, you soon. See you guys. Take care. See you. Bye. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. You know what, guys? Today is a marvelous day. We're about to head over to the Autodrome because there's exclusive crazy cars that you guys have. Uh, have we ever shown this before? We have never shown this we, car. Yeah, we've never shown this car before. So we are about to witness. The Apollo! All right, guys. So today we just made it to the Dubai Autodrome. And we have two special cars to show you. Which I don't think we've ever shown you before on the vlog. Never. We're going to go quickly because they're all... Oh, oh, let's okay. Go. Let's go. Probably like 0.0000... .000 percent of people get the chance to see in their lifetime. Guys. So you, you wouldn't be able to pick, see this car normally on the roads. All right, let's go show them. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, oh my God. Bro, you don't make me stand next to cars I don't know. And then Bro, I did not think that would be that loud. Seriously, like I could have lost an ear. That was ridiculous. When you don't know how loud the car is, don't stand next Okay, so in case you don't know much about the CLK GTR, you're looking at a price of like five million dollars on this car. Okay, so right now the first car to go on the track is the CLK GTR. They're getting ready, they got the professionals. Yeah, there you go guys. It's loud and it's ready. <laughs> This is absolutely crazy. Wow. Okay, so apparently this car is super loud when it switches on, so it's not a good idea to stand behind it. Oh. That is loud. I hear my sister's voice vibrating. Like, that's how loud this car is. You can actually, I hear her voice come as a vibration with the car. Did you see that? Yeah. Listen. It's literally like a thunderstorm. It's like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> now, now I know why it's called Apollo. It's going straight to it's the moon. It's going to the spaceships and it sounds like a storm happening. Yo, it's so far and I can still hear it. I'm actually going to introduce you to Oliver Webb who's here. He's a Le Mans race car driver. He knows way more about this car. So I'll just hand it to him. So go for it. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, to hear 11,000 RPM singing down this straight here. I've just done the Dubai 24 hours here, six years in a row. and. This thing sounds better than all of those cars how, put together. How fast does it go? Like, do you know, like... Uh, 300 kilometers an hour, it'll produce over 1,500 kilograms of downforce. So it'll drive upside down because it's more than its weight. Wow. Guys, it is ridiculous. The design is crazy. Any minute, the Apollo should be coming around. And we're going to see one of the quickest flybys ever. Like, this is really tempting. Bro, are you excited? Uh, super excited. Bro, which one's going to win? Uh, I would want it to be the CLK, but the Paul's definitely gonna win. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, that was nice. That was nice. So if you can see the design on this car, look at the exhaust. Bro, the exhaust. So like it's like three triangles. Like yeah, what? That's crazy. This car, you're never gonna see it anywhere else. It's in Dubai, they're just testing it out on the track. It's fully carbon fiber. Look at that. That's yeah. like a dark purple carbon fiber. Guys, it is insane. Like Wow, if you see the bends and the edges on this car, the front of the car looks like it's about to attack somebody. I know, it's 
but like it looks like a weapon bro it looks like a weapon all right so as much as we have been telling you about the apollo how amazing limited edition and powerful it is there's actually more to the story and who better to tell you than the general manager of the apollo ryan ryan hello hi everyone the main reason and what we want people to understand is why we did this project um we're true car enthusiasts um, we see the way the market's going, and it's understandable as companies get bigger. Uh, but our favorite days, personally, are the old GT1 days of the 90s. Those cars were very analog, emotional uh, driver's cars, purist cars. Yeah. Um, cars these days now, uh, the spirit, we feel, has been lost. It's our subjective opinion. Uh, they're extremely fast, they have many technological systems, but along the way we feel something was lost. And it, it was the emotional connection of the car and the driver. Because we felt no one would ever build a car like this again, we built it ourselves. Yeah. We privately funded. And when, when did it start getting built? Uh, so we, we started the, the project, it's always been in our minds, but we started this project on, on paper and into uh, development in 2016. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's been a long process. But what also makes it very special is, not that we, not that we just create the car of our dreams and a car to pay homage to the GT1 cars of the 90s, is that we created a joint partnership with a company called HWA, and it stands for Hans Warner Offrecht, who's the founder of AMG. And we're doing this not for a business. We'll lose money on every car that we sell, I yeah. kid you not. Oh wow. It's, it's really just to do something right. This was a car that was killing every other car in races, right? Correct. Uh, between 1997 and 1998, there were a total of 22 GT1 races, and the Mercedes CLK GTR won 18 of 22. The research is way more than what you can make out of the car, right? The, the R&D, the development, yeah. uh, uh, like I said, we lose a significant amount of money at every car, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Guys, that's amazing. Anyways, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And there you go. Now you know a bit more about the car. All right, guys. Here it comes. The Apollo is done on the track. Whoa, do you hear that? That is awesome. Whoa. Even the inside is beautiful. So as I said, this Apollo is actually a prototype. And right now I'm gonna take you inside to show you the interior, okay? Check that out. Damn, that is awesome. So as you can see, this is kind of like the view you have from inside the car. As I said, it is a prototype. So this is not the final version. This is incredible. Wow. <laughs> If you see like I showed you the interior on this camera like just the the system looks ridiculous and that's, only a and prototype. That, that's only a prototype hey our voice so we just finished up with those crazy cars and oh my god guys did you see that like ridiculous anyways here is the thing guys um i'm probably sure you know where i am just from where i'm standing i'm actually over here at fun and shakes and i just want to say We've actually been introducing a ton of new crepes to Fun and Shakes and right now I want to go show you them because in case you guys haven't tried our crepes, they are delicious. Like, by the way, they're becoming more popular than the milkshakes. Do you know that? Oh. Like, I checked the orders. They're ordering more crepes than milkshakes. Crepes? They're delicious, bro. A lot of you haven't actually seen that we have these on the menu, so I just want to recommend next time you guys come to Fun and Shakes, you need to try either the Lotus or the Oreo crepe, or any any of the crepes. Listen, I know I'm supposed to be on a diet, but it's too good. We have to try it. Okay. Da -da. Da -da. Wait, isn't this da -da. girl supposed to do this to make it look like nicer? Guys, it's delicious. Come try it. Alright, so now that we're here, I just ran into Abbas and Zayed. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, what's up, man? And they are super, super dope. So they just came here and I had to vlog them because they just gave us the coolest gifts ever. So I'll, I'll let you talk about it. Everybody, I recommend Fun and Shakes. Uh, it's the best place in Dubai. <laughs> Thank you. Shakes, you better come here. And guys, so he actually has a perfume line he gave to Lana. It's Oud and... I am so excited to try this. I oh yeah, and he gave mommy more one. <laughs> I can believe you. Yeah, yeah, she's here as well. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate it, guys. He was super cool and just chilling. So both of these guys. Thank you very much. Fun and shakes is the place to be. Hey, you already know, guys. Peace. I'm not one of your broads. I'm not worried about your bag. I can buy a 